Hi guys, it's uh, Yoon here from Performance UAV and today we're going to be testing a payload drop with an emergency pack using an electromagnets all mounted underneath quads and we're going to give a quick demonstration of just how easy this is so this is about 800 grams and as you can see we've got the plate attachment here we are, here's the electromagnet two of them sit together and it works quite well. So, on with the demo. Alright guys, so here we go. This is just going to do the demo. Uh, as I mentioned, this is our this is our emergency pack. And this is how we attach it. It's quite simple. You lift it up to the vehicle. You engage the magnet using the switch. When it's engaged, you sent it to the centre position. And that's it. That's now secure. If you want to release, you just press the button and it releases. So, let's try this for real. So, we're going to give this a flight and we'll try and show you how it all works. See how we get on? Okay. Okay, so here we are. So, if you're wondering why there's a light on the front, it's because this is designed for SAR operation. So we are designing this to lift payloads. A bit windy today, but no problem. Now, as we can see, Selling quite nicely. Uh, we can move this about quite a lot as well. So let's just do a little flight around. As you can see, it's flying no problem with the payload underneath. Bit of a crosswind today, to apologize. There we are. So, really simple. Now, what this really is, is you're flying up to your intended waypoint. As I said, we'll do a demonstration later about uh, how to use the APM to do these automated drops. So, So, simple mission, fly up to your objective, you can use loiter or your own eyes, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm using loiter, it just makes it easier. The unit comes with the board cam fitment, so it actually allows you to look directly downwards and you can see the effect uh, or how how closely you can target your thing. So let's do the drop. Quite simple. We will just flick the switch and there we are. That simple. Now quite usefully that the, the quad is relatively high powered uh, in that it didn't lurch straight back up in the air. It will fly at mid stick uh, on its own no problem and only just slightly above with a one kilo load. So you'll be wanting to use a relatively high power vehicle for this. Because obviously the unit itself comes with um, comes at around about 200, uh, 200 grams, including the BECs, and around 300 if you include the searchlight facility. So, there we are. So let's do another one of those. Okay, so this is us. Really simple. Right, there is as you hover over your target and whenever you're ready you simply release. That's it. So here we are. This is us in Loiter 
so I apologize, a bit of a wind. When you're doing these types of drops, you do need to pay for special attention to winds. Now, when you're doing a payload drop, if you try and drop this one 20 meters, you can be up to 20 meters out by the time you get to the bottom. So, the technique for doing payload drops, especially in SAR applications, is to get as close as you can to your objective. Now, I would recommend that you're not aiming to drop uh, any higher than two to three meters, especially if you have fluids on board. If you have water or any of these types of things on board, you're going to smash the bottle when it lands. Now, we are looking at a way to resolve that uh, due to uh, trying to control the way the thing drops and also to arrest its speed to increase, uh, to decrease its terminal velocity. So, uh, stay tuned for that. But at the moment, uh, this is quite happily chugging along. It's uh, so this is just just around a kilo, and I, I can pretty much throw this around pretty much as, as much as I like, and it stays nice and secure, even in a nice strong wind like today. So it's it's going to work out quite well. As I said, you want to get to your objective, you want to fly up to your objective. Orientate yourself. Make sure you're happy with the uh, orientation. I recommend you drop down to well, a nice low height. Obviously not too low, otherwise you'll be... Uh, otherwise you'll be inflicting uh, propeller injuries on people below. So. A nice height is, as I said, something nice like this. This is about two meters. So there you go. Let your loiter settle, and then you flick the button. There you go. Simple as that. Now obviously what you can then do is return home and get another. Okay, hope you enjoyed the demo and we will uh, speak to you again soon.